So this kitchen um, is made out of the material that came out of the ceiling here. It's all recycled wood and all recycled metal, everything here. But it's what we tried to do. This is an old meat packing plant. So this is where they literally hung whole cows from the roof, from the ceiling. This was a giant 7,000 square feet walk-in refrigerator. Let me turn some lights on down here too. I'll show you a picture in a minute that'll show you what it was like when we bought it. Because, uh, so it is also like an ceiling. art museum. Huh? It's also like an art museum. And are you an artist? All of this art that's in here was uh, done by this really cool Australian artist who is uh, now living here in Tucson, happens to be my mother-in-law. It's the other side that we haven't seen yet. And this thing right here that's stuck on the ceiling is that right there, is that piece of artwork right there. And I just thought it was, oh. had a certain power to it. We of course got a lot of material and we made the kitchen and we also, where we were sitting outside, we made uh, this fence out of that material. This was all covered in um, concrete. And so we turned it, we've ripped it all up and we've turned it into a desert garden. It's fairly new, so it kind of looks a little sparse, but this will all fill in and it'll be like a nice little hummingbird haven. Yes, you know, one of the, the sort of philosophies that we wanted to use in redoing this building is that we didn't want to put up any divides. We wanted to use as little material as possible. Mm -hmm. We wanted it to be as flexible as possible. So instead of building divides, I've made sort of room divides out of plants. Great. So the plants, we use these as, as ways to delineate space. Mm -hmm. um, and living in the desert, we love to have humidity, mm -hmm. and it's nearly always at about 50% humidity in here when it's about 12%, 20% outside. So it makes a huge difference to the livability to the space as well from that, that point of view. Uh, nice. Oh, and this is a, a fun little feature here going along with the whole concept of uh, not wanting to put up walls. This is the shower. Yes, I love that. I saw that when I came in and I thought, wow, that is so cool. See, there's the drain. <laughs> yeah, we need to put a cover over the drain. <laughs> quite that far yet. <laughs> so you were saying that you, uh, this was two years in the planning and you've only really been in here a few months? It was two years in the making, but one year, really one year in the making. Yeah. One year of planning, one year of making. And yeah, two, one year few it months sort of, of sat because <laughs> we had to sell our house. But yeah, it, it, so it's, it's been a couple of years. It's been really fun. It's been really satisfying to do. And the, the thermal properties of this building are such that we hardly need any heat. We haven't been through a summer yet, so I don't know what will happen. And of course, the summers here can be pretty brutal. But I have a feeling we're not going to need to do very much. Very good. It stays this temperature all the time.